so guys today i'm gonna teach you velocity addition theorem and i guarantee you that once you understand this topic you can't forget it in your whole life i'm also giving you some tricks to remember the derivation so first of all let us make its diagram so this is y x is this is z axis and this is x axis this is a stationary frame of reference this is y dash z dash and x dash this is a non stationary frame of reference this is a particle p traveling in this direction and this is velocity in this direction the coordinate of this particle with this respect to stationary frame of reference are x y z and t and the coordinates of this particle with respect to non stationary frame of reference are x dash y dash z dash and t dash and we know that distance is equal to speed into time implies speed equal to distance upon time implies u equal to dx upon dt equation number one and u dash equal to dx dash upon dt dash equation two so this is the first step that you have to write moving forward then from Lorentz transformation equation we have x dash equal to x minus vt upon under root 1 minus v square upon c square and t dash equal to t minus xv upon c square upon under root 1 minus v square upon c square this is our equation number 3 and this is our equation number 4 now differentiating equation number 3 and 4 we get dx dash equal to dx minus v dt upon 1 minus v square upon c square under root and dt dash equal to dt minus v dx upon c square upon under root 1 minus v square upon c square this is our equation number 5 this is our equation number 6 now moving forward putting value of equation 5 and equation 6 in equation 2 we get and what is equation 2 equation 2 is u dash equal to dx dash upon dt dash so u dash equal to we have find the value of dx dash and dt dash so u dash equal to dx minus v dt upon under root 1 minus v square upon c square divided by dt minus v dx upon c square upon under root 1 minus v square upon c square now the denominator of both of them are same so they cancel out each other and we left with u dash equal to dx minus v dt upon dt minus v dx upon c square now moving forward we have to divide all of all this with dt so divide by dt we will get u dash equal to dx upon dt minus v dt upon dt upon dt upon dt minus v dx upon dt upon c square 
so we get u dash equal to u minus v upon 1 minus u v upon c square this is the derivation velocity addition theorem similarly we will find u equal to u plus v upon 1 plus u v upon c square now some of the cases we have to understand so case number one when v equal to c then u equal to u plus c upon 1 plus u c upon c square equal to u u dash plus c upon 1 plus u dash upon c now taking lcm we will get u dash plus c upon u dash plus c upon c implies u equal to c now case number two when u equal to c then u equal to c plus v u dash equal to c plus v upon 1 plus c v upon c square so uh, c and c cancel out each other and we are left with u c plus v upon c plus v upon c so again we will get u equal to c this is all about this topic gentlemen hope you understand this concept please subscribe to my channel like the video and share among your friends if you have any suggestion want any separate topic to be discussed here do comment below in our next video we will learn variation of mass velocity thank you